judgment we no longer fear thy precious blood has brought us near rejoice rejoice Emmanuel has banished every have seen me in my sorrow, you have heard me in my pain, you have known me in my suffering, you have loved me in my shame, you have held me in my questions, you have heard me when I prayed, you have looked on me with favor, you have never Sing holy, holy, holy is your name. I say glory, glory, glory to your name. The angels and the heavens sing of the new day that you bring. They say glory. Glory, glory, glory to you. 
The poor will see that all hopes are not lost and grace flows free. of the worship team. Thank you for reminding us to revere God's holy name, for God is truly holy. And holy can be defined as being set apart, not contaminated from the bad and evil things of this world, but of the good, the lovely, the beautiful that comes from God alone. And one of the things that is so beautiful about God is that God continues to speak to his people uh, through messengers called prophets. And it's usually a message for, uh, for his people to return to, to God and God's ways. And that it's a message of hope that God continues to be faithful in his promises and that God will never abandon his people. But sometimes God chooses to stay silent and for 400 years, um, since the last prophet in the Old Testament of Malachi to the birth of Christ, God does not speak. But just because God does not speak to one of his prophets doesn't mean that God isn't working. God is always working behind the scenes. And for those 400 years, the people of Israel um, there were a lot of changes going on in that society and culture. And for Israel, there was a story of hopelessness and despair, of being oppressed, of being ruled by um, different um, groups, religion, and people. And in this time, in this waiting time, God continues to remind his people that God is faithful. And God not only speaks through John the Baptist, but he shows up as God in flesh 
in the person of Jesus of Nazareth. So this is um, where we turn to our New Testament readings. We'll be reading from the Bible book of John. And we'll be reading from the Bible book of Luke as well. And my passage I'll be reading is from John 1, 9 through 14, NIV. Verse 9, the true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth, made his dwelling among us. That word, dwelling, is the same word related to the word tabernacle from the Old Testament. And tabernacle, from what we know, is that that's where God resided with his people in the time of Moses. So that's God's heart and his desire is to dwell with his people. And he does so in the person of Jesus and the, as well as the Holy Spirit. So the next reading will be from um, the Price family, and they'll be reading a passage from the Bible book of Luke. Hi, Ethnos. We are the Price family. Together we're narrating from the Bible book of Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. This is how a couple of young teenagers named Mary and Joseph found out that Mary would give birth to Jesus, who would become the Savior of the world, as was predicted in the Bible book of Isaiah. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at the angel's words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. Your child will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, who was the second king of ancient Israel, and your son will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, since I am a virgin? Mary asked the angel. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come to you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who is said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month, for no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled, Mary answered. Here are the lyrics from Luke one thirty nine to 55 to the song sang by Mary after hearing all of this news. My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for God has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him. From generation to generation, he has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones, but has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised our ancestors. Magnifies you, Lord, my soul 
glorifies you, Lord. You have seen me, known me, and heard my cry. You have not forgotten me. You have lifted me, filled me with all Magnifies you, Lord. Oh, my soul glorifies you, Lord. You have seen me, known me, and heard my cry. You have not forgotten me.
Heaven's angels came to let us know That our freedom rests upon His throne So we've traveled from across this land Seeking out the new and precious land The one who came and made time stand still When heaven opened up Oh